Hello, my beautiful people. It's me again, your girl, Kiss of Kelly KG2. So, what am I doing today? I'm a black glove, and yes, I'm actually doing a training on how to train snail. So, we are doing a African land snail. African land snail, African land snail. I'm actually just washing them here. This is how to train them. This thing's about to die, you. I tell you, did that thing affect me? No, I'm talking, sure. My camera is on. Oh. So, if you are just joining me, you see my African giant snail. So, today is actually all about how to train snail. So, um, I have some African giant snail. And uh, which normally I've been trained for a while now. And oh, look at how they're making noise. And then, so this is all about snail. We're doing African land snail. So how to train them. That's what I'm doing today. And I have the terrarium here. And uh, excluding the terrarium. Yeah, excluding the terrarium, um, I'm going to be planting in some salad inside. Because what I've been doing is that um, I've been giving them some salad here. You see, so they will eat it. So what I do is I always like emptying them. I just remove the ones. Oh, not those leaves. Because these leaves I actually bought. I bought these leaves. Okay? So this leaf I bought. So, um. So these ones now, these ones, I have to remove them because they are normal salad. So I usually put them inside, you know. So you see how, how big now they are going. They are going very big now. You see? It's not just these two, you know. I still have more. So what I do is when you put them in water most times, you know, they will like want to come out. You see it? Have more of it, more of it. I have to start looking for them. So I think one is here. See? Look, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's one in there. So I have to like, you know. So what? Sometimes what I do is I just like soak them inside water in between the time, you know. So put them in water. I think there's also one here. <laughs> like I said, they are hiding themselves. Like I hide themselves under the leaves and under the tree and under the sand. That's one again here. <laughs> Just trying to bring them out of that place. Yeah, this one, I don't know where he or she is going because snail actually don't have male or female. Okay, they don't have. So look at look at this mouth. Look at this mouth. Look at this mouth. Can you see that? Look, 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 look. Oh, yeah, say hi to my washers. Say hi to them. Oh, can you see that? <laughs> oh my God. They are so lovely. Look, 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 look. Say hi. Hi, YouTubers. Hi, YouTubers. <laughs> okay. So, um,. I got to bring some of them out now. So what I do, because now I have a bowl of water here. Yeah, I have a bowl of water here that I put them inside just for them to wake up. So I'll just like put them here so that they can. Okay, I think you guys aren't actually seeing them. So just put them here. And then, so they can walk. You see now, this, this, they will start waking up. You see? They are waking up now. You see them? They will start waking up now. Yeah. 
They'll start waking up now. So I just want to like teach you guys how to train African land snail, okay? So these ones are growing big already. You can see how big this one is already and see this one also. And then you see them, you know, they're actually going big. And uh, so I'll just put them aside now. I see I have some also. I have two terrarium. I have one terrarium also here, but I'm going to work on this one also later, okay? So first, because they are actually um two different kind of species. So um, these ones are the um, cucumber, the earth remain. Yeah, you can see. You see how they eat it. Mm, I think I need to adjust the light, okay? Just give me one minute, okay? Let me adjust the light. Let me see if it's better now this way. Okay, so, see? Okay, now I think you guys can see it. Now you see? You see how they heat it? I tell you, this thing can eat. So, um, yeah, this cucumber are no longer to be eaten because they're like two days already. So the best way is you always have to make sure you um, change their food every two days, maximum of two days. Don't let it stay too long yeah. there. Most every especially. Are you waiting now? So, um, so, um, like I said, when it comes to um the snail, you have to always make sure that you change your food every two days. Okay, sorry for that. I have to mute the come the, the 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 mic for a moment because I was really angry because like, I don't, someone in the house is also, it's like wanted to wash me again. But I don't like even already a year life, you know? So, oh my God, you see now they are waking up. You see, they're waking up already. Can you see them? Look at them, look at them. You see, they're waking up already. Can you see them? Look at them, look at them. So, if you're just joining me, like I said, can you see the snail now? So, today is actually on how to train snail. See, look, they're actually waking up, and I told you when you put them inside water, so. Tip number one, always make sure you give them food like every day or every two days, maximum, okay? So, um, because if it's actually like fruit, like the cucumber that I changed, okay, this I, I saw one now already again. If it's like cucumber that you change and they are already um, a day or two days there, so it's not actually advisable or it's not actually good to leave the food too long because it's when it starts getting decay, it might also be harmful to them. So I have to throw it away. So you see now, so when you when you find out they are sleeping and then you want to change their food, you know, and you want them to eat. So what you do is just put them, normally sometimes what I do is I put some spray water on them, okay? But I don't always do it because when they are sleeping, you know, those that joined me earlier on, they saw that uh, I actually picked the snails from all the holes because there, some of them were hiding under the, 
uh, leave and even going down the sand, you know. So when they're sleeping, if you put spray water on them, they don't like waking up. So what you do is I, you have to take them out and put them inside water. Either you dip them inside water or sometimes I just put them under the um, basin, which is a wash hand basin, and then I leave the water to be running. They love it so much. They love it when the water is running with them on on top of them. You know, then they will just woke up. But now because I'm doing this video here, so I can't just be going from here to the a bathroom and going here and there. So that's why I just like you know bring a bowl of water and I dip them inside. And immediately they're up. So you see, look at them now. So um like yeah, if you're just joining me, this channel is actually or this big live video rather is actually about how to train african land snail because these are not a, a aquarium snail no these are land snail which is sand snail so they have to be in terrarium so i have big terrarium and i have small terrarium terrarium so like i said first i want to deal with the big one first but i think what i can actually do um sorry for that let me just keep them there i have to look so now I have to look for the small ones now and put them inside water to see if they can actually wake up so that when I start doing the video, before I go back to them, they'll be up by then. So we're going to also feed them today and we're going to plant a salad. This is actually live salad. I bought it already. These are the ones that are supposed to be going out to see the salad. This, this is a kind of big salad. So this is what we're going to plant inside the terrarium so that when they are eating, the salad they're gonna be eating this but they'll be eating that and it will be going out too so i don't need to be changing this always so first i just want us to look for the snail oh good i don't <coughs> i already saw one here already see that's it i already saw one already here so i think this is like shit yeah, I don't know what this is anyway. All the same, that's why I have both. So I think I'll just put it inside the water. Now to look for another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the meantime, I just have to chew away this cocoon. They didn't want to actually eat. I don't know why. These small ones, they don't like eating. But which is not good because when they don't eat, they don't go. You know, so I have to start moving the salad also from inside. So this leaf, you know, you don't throw them away. It's dry leaf. And snail loves dry leaves also because they love um, places where they can hide themselves, where they can, you know, feel comfortable and things like that. Oh, that's a good one. So <laughs> can you see it? You see? It took itself out of here and go down. Down the uh, uh, what am I going? This actually not leaf. Is this is a moss? Okay, it's called moss. So that's what I, I just know. It's called moss. Any other name of it, I don't know. You can actually just put moss, and you can actually um see to buy. But this one is actually the dry one. Um, yeah. One moment, I'll be right back. I just have to bring um the this thing for you guys to see. Okay. So in case if you want to buy them or you want to train your own snail, so you see what and what to use for your snail. Okay. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Just give me one minute. So start counting the second. I'm back. So you see, like I said, this is a dry leaf, okay? So let me keep it here. I will explain everything for you guys later. And this is the mousse. You see it? I told you, it's just called mousse. It's called mousse, nothing else. It's actually a forest mousse, okay? And uh, it's... You know, like if you're in the forest, um, on the mountain, 
or sometimes it's also go close to water. So you can actually buy the fresh one, but I won't advise you buying the fresh one because when you buy the fresh one, after a while, it's dried. And when it gets dried on your own, it's not um, that perfect or it's not that good because you always have to use the dry one because when it's it always have to use fresh because if you use the dry one and the fresh one and it get dried on you you don't know how to preserve it okay just like when you um buy a vegetable and the vegetable is fresh and when it gets dry on you in your own house if you didn't put it in, in in the sun it just get dried like that so definitely it's gonna be like um um, a semi-decaying leaf. You understand what I mean? Yeah, so definitely that's why it's advisable to eat in between that period that the um, leaf is fresh. So, but when you buy already dried leaf, so that means it wasn't dried inside the kitchen during your time of waiting for you to use it or something. It was already dried from the people from the seller or maybe from the uh, company that produce and sell it. So they already dried it perfectly. You know, they dried it perfectly and then, um, they dried it perfectly and then packages for sale. So which that's actually very better, okay? So now this is actually now um, the mouse, okay? So this is the mouse now that, I bought it's already dried and since it's already dried automatically you can just start um wet it so what I do is then now I have to soak it inside water for a while you see it's not up to a half that I use because you see the the, the, the length of the you see length of the paper and look at where it's still remaining so you see what I've used and that is what actually fill the whole place, you understand? So automatically, it is actually better to buy the dry one and then you soak it inside water and then you get it fresh. It's just like buying a dry, dry vegetable, you soak it inside water when you want to use it and then use it while it's now from dry to fresh. It's better than from fresh to dry and which will definitely end up like a decaying dry which is not good so like this now i can still preserve this so i have this so like it's gonna go last me like maybe months you know to last me months because only when this one is this one that i have in there is finished that is when i can then change it um yeah i think now this video is like almost like um 20 minutes already so um i just want to cut it but before then oh my god check what is happening here can you see them already <laughs> this one it got an accident okay and uh it was actually my fault i took it up wanted to i don't know when i want to drop it down and it immediately fell down so now he's sleeping and all his body now are going out which so supposed not to be but I actually felt pity for it, but there's really nothing I could do. Yeah, um, this video is already 20 minutes. I want to cut it and then I'll um, do the part two of it. So I'll just like, I'll just end the scene and come life again immediately, okay? Because I don't want it to be too long because if it's too long, like for you that are already online now, it's very much perfect for you guys. But then if you're watching it again, um those that will be 